Good girl. What's cracking, cuz? I, I mean, hey guys, how you doing? Is that better? Yes. Um, I'm getting better, y'all. Uh, welcome to episode two of Melissa and Joe Do Things. <laughs> I like that name, because it's, it's, it's really accurate. Because we be doing things. We do things all the time. And that's Melissa, and I'm Joe. And we do things. You see how I'm putting two and two together? I got four. But, y'all in for another treat. I'm just be handing out treats. Ain't even Halloween. You're welcome. What are we gonna do today? Tell him. We're gonna talk about how we met. Mm. He brought it up in our last video. If you haven't seen it, Check go it out. watch it. Check it out. Like it and subscribe if you haven't. Melissa, I, I guess I'm gonna ask you though. What? We didn't have a million subscribers like I thought we was gonna get. Like right away, huh? Like. Baby, I, we got to. Nah, see, cause. Cause when we were talking about this, you was like, oh man, you get a million subscribers, you popping. So I just assumed it'd be like that. So I'm gonna need y'all to hit that button, <laughs> tell your mamas to hit it, get your granny. I mean, they got, she got a laptop, she got a phone, and my grandma got a I phone. told the people at my job, I was like, hey, grandma whatever device you have that you could pull YouTube on, watch it. Yeah, well, don't put, probably shouldn't tell people at your job. But um, got Indeed, got the, got the Indeed app. We'll get you another job, ain't no problem when they fire you. Baby, Ain't no don't problem. Say that. Hey, don't, don't say that. Yeah, y'all. So, I need to get it to a million because y'all, y'all slacking. I do my part making these five videos. Y'all gotta do y'all part. So just like it, subscribe to it. What else I want to do? The comments, do all that. Just get it popping. Share it to your homies. Share it to your granny. Share it to comments, your comments, feedbacks. Give it to your pastor. What else you guys want to watch? You know what I'm saying? Pray what on should it. we do? Ask the Lord how you can share it more. Please get involved. I need it. Oh my goodness, but, uh, baby. No, I just, it's just, it's fun. It's really <laughs> fun. I like it. I'm just joking. All jokes. Um, so like she said, today we're going to talk about... How we met. Cool. And then after we're going to follow up with... See, she got to keep up. That's what you say. What we learned. What we learned in a relationship so far. See, there you go. You're right on the money. Right on the money. <laughs> cool. So I think I'm going I'm to start it off. Because I think my recollection of the beginning is pretty... I'm pretty spot on, I think. I think I, I got this. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to paint a picture for y'all. The year is 2008, fall of 2008 to be specific. I'm in my freshman year of college, went away to school, about two and a half hours from the house. Um, I'm up there, I got a click, little, click of homeboys. We all kicked it, went to parties, uh, you know, knew the same girls, kind of chilled in the same little areas, stayed in similar dorms. And so I had a little, one little partner, you know, a little short dude, S curls, cool little dude. Jigged a lot. Um, he was dating her. And like, and I remember it was in the library, which I thought was a little tacky. And they were Skyping each other. And uh, I was like, hmm, who is this? You know, caught my attention. It was Uvu at first. Uvu, Skype, riding a bike. It's safe day. <laughs> so um, they was doing that chit-chatting. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm sure they got it, I guess. And he kept hyping her up. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> I love her so much. And I was like, all right, bro. Relax. What? I was like, I feel you, dog. I feel you. Yeah, keep, keep up alive. And uh, so she came up there and visited. And I was like, oh, okay, it's something, you know. It's something to do when it's nothing to do. I get it, big dog. You're doing all right. And um, so what happened, we kind of got cool on their friend, strictly, you know, platonic friendship type level mm -hmm. stuff. And so then uh, I was a man ho. And I got in the, I got had a lot of fun up there. Maybe a little too much. I know. We talk about it every <laughs> once in a while. That's, that's, that's <laughs> part two, that's what we'll discuss. Um... And I stopped going to school there because it probably was best for my and future. And he came back home. I came back home to Houston and uh, I started going to school here. But I still had some dips up there I had to check on. And uh, my partner did too because he stopped going to school up there too. And Both we, of y'all came back. Mm -hmm, but, well, Which yeah. was okay. Y'all yeah. finished here. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. For that. And um, You so, know who you are. So I still had to go up there. I lived that life. I was there. And so I still had to go check on my little, little shorties up there. But uh, the problem was it's two and a half hours away. And she still had her old buddy up there. So I was like, well, shit, it won't make sense for both of us to waste our gas. So being the gentleman I, I was, I let her drive us up there. The two and a half miles. I two drove and a half hour journey. Yeah. So she, she drove us up there to, to and back. Just, Which was mm, fine, whatever. Of course, you know, the chivalry. That's, that's what I do. I'm just a nice guy. Uh, kept her company. You know, offered gas once, I think. But she, we went there several times, made several trips for, like, homecoming, different parties. It was fun. Um, chicks I need to uh, check on, make sure they were staying alive, stuff like make that. Make sure they were still your chicks. Mm -hmm. You, you got to check because, I mean, she might not belong to you no more. She might belong to the streets, and you got to check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you, you take account. But that's another that's another video. 
Um, so we went up there, I think, one trip, and like, like we just, I don't know, we were just vibing. And I remember like she was chilling him, and I felt some type of way about it. I was like, Really? And I was like, What y'all got going on? But uh, I don't know. But uh, I guess we came back and we started hanging out. Remember? Oh. When you were saying that you were kind of feeling me, there was one time he asked which one of your friends. Oh, he asked you? Which one of your, my friends do you think is cute? And I was like, do you want me to be honest? He said, yeah, so. But you were a I was honest sick, and I said, Joseph. Sick person. Okay. Why would you tell <laughs> That dude did MMA. You trying to set me up. I was skinny as hell. Whatever. Like, I, like, I didn't think you were cute and look what happened. Set your boy mm. up, man. Oof. Yeah, so you came back home. We got cool. We would talk on the phone. I used to. Oh, no, wait, wait, don't tell him that. Joseph didn't cake, okay? So I was a bartender, and on the weekends, I would be like, hey. Did she belong to the streets? Find out next stop. time. Stop. On Dragon Ball Z. No. Like, hey, do y'all want to come out? Do you want to come visit me? Do y'all want to go out somewhere real quick? Or where are y'all at tonight? So if we ended up being at the same spot, I would go visit them. And I invited y'all out to my job one night. What happened? I, y'all went to the place across the street? Well, down the street, yeah. Down the street. Mm -hmm. I left my job for like 15 minutes, went over there. You know, she's saying your boy drip, dripping. Cause I was, that's what I did. All that drip I had. I flustered I him. Here, I was out here balling. Ooh, I can't. I had, I had a whole bunch of little joints in the spot. I boggled your mind. Nah, nah, it wasn't like that. And I was like, man, why this girl all in my face? You know what I'm saying? She all in my face. I'm trying to holler this little piece right here. I had a little, little joint on the other side. She all of my girls, so we got we were dancing to some song. Might have been like T Pain, something, something real intimate, maybe some Pretty Ricky, something that kind of got me. I was in my vibe, and uh, she got my face, and like we almost kissed. And I was almost. Like, it was like, and I remember I was like, man, so I, I'm driving home with a car full of other chicks that I'm trying to holler, holler at or whatever. And uh, I was like, man, that was really weird. And uh, mm -hmm. she did. She pulled. A, she pulled a stunt. Next day, she, I guess she was still talking to old buddy, which was my I had to pull my card first because I knew you were talking to a lot of girls. So go ahead. Um, yeah, so she was like, oh, so let's pretend like last night didn't happen. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. You should be blowing a goddamn trumpet. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to kiss Joe. Fucking put a banner up. You should have been hype. But you were trying like, to blow mm -mm, me I'm off. about to be the one. Nope. But uh, I was like, okay, that's fine. Not man. if I knew you were on the same Girl. page. Not on the same page. But get you then. And then my homeboy or whatever, he, he hit me. Like maybe a couple of days later, I was like, "Oh, talkative ass girl," but it wasn't even like that. But uh, I guess they was kind of going through it or whatever. Uh, I don't think they were together, but he no. he still lay claim, I guess. Yeah. And as a partner, yeah, you, as a homeboy, you shouldn't do that. Then I was just like, I made a mental note. I said, you know what? I don't really mess with dude like that, man. Forget that. It wasn't even serious. Um, yeah. So talk about the second time. I think when we did finally kind of. Well, we started hanging out after that. We would go out. To the clubs on the weekends. And then this one particular weekend, I think it was right after Christmas, you had just gotten some new glasses. Oh my God, are you trying to make me look corny? No, what happened was I had an eye infection. <laughs> um, I had to get some glasses. like, And then like my prescription was so bad, I couldn't get like the cool little joints. I had to get like some like... The cool little joints? Yeah, I had to get some like little trash ones. And you so look I handsome. Looked, I look wild, man. I was looking handsome. nuts. And then uh, Express was like popping back then. And uh, I had this bright ass yellow Big Bird Express sweater with a little line on the thing, just a little. I swore line. you looked good. I was like, nah, mm. I found. And then I didn't have a Michael Jordan t shirt that lay down underneath. I had, I guess, the little, little uh, Fruit of the Loom joint where it's like. It was all, a Fruit of the Loom. It looked all ruffled. I didn't know. Nah, I man, I looked crazy. And then, you know, pants wasn't all that tight back then. It was a little, it was just, I was looking nuts. For some reason, she was all in my face. I was like, dang, man. My baby. And so, uh, we, we, uh, what song? Some song came on. Might have been another Pretty Ricky song. They, they be helping me out. Y'all need to listen to Because we Pretty ended Ricky. up being like. Partnered up. Partnered up throughout the whole night because the club was packed. It was crowded. So, like, if he was going to walk through a crowd, I was holding on to him so I could get through too. So and I, we just stayed. So, I had the juice. And, uh. She was like, oh, can I get a sip? And I was like, yeah. No, actually, I've got water. No, no. You no. drank from my water bottle. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean that. Mm -hmm. That kind of juice. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Shut um, up. So. Uh, I, that I do remember. I got water. The H2O, as scientists call it. Maybe be quiet. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, so I know we end up back to my homeboy car. 
Not like that to that extent that night. But you know, y'all were driving me to my car. Yeah, we was just going around the corner. Cause we were going home. <laughs> Don't take time for your boy. And then you know he had to step out, walk me to my car. And I, I, then I'm when gonna, we got to my car, I put the lips on. I said, "Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna get a close up, y'all." So <laughs> see, I said, "Hey, little mama." Put the LLs on her. Babe, don't do that. And uh, yeah, so I did the LLs. No, that's it was just for not the ladies. Like that. That's just for the ladies, you know, fellas. Y'all should y'all should skip that part. But uh, yeah, so I did that, and then next thing I know, we started talking. We was linked up, and uh, we stayed together for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Was that a was a kiss. Yeah. I was like, all right, no, I'm not gonna hit him up and be like, forget it, never so, happened. Ten years later, forget it. Here we are. So what I learned. And what y'all should really practice, if you're in a relationship, start a relationship, because that's talking about the start of a relationship. And uh, the most important thing as a man, never, ever ask a woman about her past unless you want to cry. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. But it was before you. She didn't know you. Don't ask. Because all you're going to do is hurt your feelings. If you're prideful like your boy... You don't want to know about that. Don't ask about past. Don't ask about past people. Don't do it. Once you open that box, it's impossible to shut. And That's... if you go looking, searching, you're going to find something. Mm. So, ladies, and I, and I can't say this enough. I mean, but no, hey, no, dudes don't every... dudes black don't... men don't cheat. Try to, I've been trying to tell her this, but how come you know it now? But all of a sudden, you, you don't know it all them times. Who is this? Boom, come on. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? I'm, I'm waking up in the middle of the night. I got phone in my face. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I was scared. I thought we was getting abducted by aliens. I was like, who even let you hey, in? Hey, we're still here. Yeah, we're still here. We're fighting. still here. So, fellas, remember, What's change that? your lock code it on your phone. Out. Wait, wait. Change your lock code on your phone on a weekly basis, Okay. Weekly basis. Get the privacy screen protector where they can't see from the side. There are things you can do to protect yourself. Don't ask about her past. Change your password. Privacy screen. Remember that, fellas. Write it down. Okay? This will save you. You can make it. I, I'm going to hear about the grace you of God. You are so scary. Or just be faithful. Just yes. Be. Just be faithful. Just be faithful. Remember all the stuff we said last time. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out our last video. Share it with everybody else. I need y'all to go pray. Pray on this video. Pray to bless me. And then also, pray to ask God how you can share the video some more. Say, man, I just want to share it. Melissa and Joe do things. <laughs> I need you to bless me with a new way to show to share with the world. And uh, just do that. Get out there, man. Spread it, man. T tell your neighbor, hey, neighbor, watch this YouTube video. And have, pass on your phone. But, um, yeah, anything else you want to say? Any shout outs? Shout out to everyone who shared and subscribed so far. Yeah, I appreciate it. Facebook and stuff. I appreciate it. Shout out to the neighbors. It's time for being quiet, man. Y'all y'all holding it down. It's, I told them about themselves. Oh, shout out to the dog. She was a little noisy. You might have heard her. But she calmed down. But, uh, yeah. So, without further ado, peace.